are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing awesome. So the look I have for you is my first Valentine's Day look for 2016. And this is one using rose golds and I really love it. It's very purpley, very pinky. Um, and if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Alright, so I'm going to start out this look by priming my eyelids with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the anti-aging formula. Now I did do my face and my eyebrows already using the Kat Von D Locket Foundation and then I used the uh, Anastasia Dip Brow in Ebony to get that all over my eyebrows and stuff. Alright, so I'm going to start out with the eyeshadow. I'm just going to be using my highlight. This is a Physicians Formula Powder Palette Mineralized Glow Pearls and Translucent Pearl. I'm going to be using kind of a white part of this to do my highlight. Whatever highlight color works for you, I am naturally, obviously as you can tell, really, really pale. Um, so I'm going to be using this as my highlight. In my inner corner just to give it a little bit of a glow. Um, so for the eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using a MAC pigment in Rose. I'm also going to be using the Anastasia Artist Palette. So I'm going to go in first um, with this light color here called Dusty Rose. And I'm just going to get this into my crease with a blending brush. This one is from Sephora. It's the Pro Smoky Crease Brush number 31. Of course, this color is super pigmented and I put too much on, but whatever. Just keep blending that color up into your highlight color so it's nicely graduated. Now I'm going to take that same color with a smaller brush. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay um, dual ended side of this brush. And I'm just going to pull this in on the inner corners and on the outer corners so it gives that really round shape. leaving a empty space in the middle where I'm going to put that pigment. Now I'll go in with my blending brush and blend that out. And I'm going to take some more of that dusty rose color and kind of get it in the corners of my eyes and I'm going to pull it up under my lower lash line. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC pigment. This one is in Rose. I'm going to get a little bit on the back of my hand. Now I am going to be using a Visine. This is just a contact, you know, eye drop kind of deal. This one's for contact, so hopefully it'll be okay. So I'm putting a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Got a little dot of the solution. Now I'm going to take this brush that I just used. It doesn't really matter if it's wet. I'm going to get a little bit of this onto the brush so that the brush is wet. <laughs> I'm going to dip the brush into the pigment and place it right in the middle of my eye. So I got some of this on there, and apparently this pigment is hard to work with. Honestly, I've never used it before, so let's we'll roll with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap this on the middle of my eyelid. This is so pretty. I am gonna get a little bit of that too and do this under my lower lash line, right in the center here. So you can see it like a little bit under there. Cool. So now I'm gonna go in with a small blending brush. This is the e.l.f. blending brush. This uh, darker color here called Aubergine. I'm gonna be taking the tiniest bit of it because I don't want to have too much, basically. And do it right in the crease. just to add a little bit more dimension. And I will pull a little bit of that up onto the sides. Now I'll pull whatever is left on my brush down under. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and line my top waterline with the NARS larger than life, eyewear, whatever. Black eyeliner. Just do my waterline up top. All 
Alright, so I am going to use some mascara. I don't think I'm going to be doing a winged liner with this. I think I'm just going to try and plop down these lashes right on top. So I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara first just to get my lashes a little bit darker because they are blonde. So I'm going to be doing that first and then popping some lashes on. So now I'm going to be using my Katy Perry Eye Lower Lashes. Now these I've used like a million times, but they're my favorite. So whatever lashes you want to use, these are pretty dramatic, um, which is totally the look I'm going for, so that's alright. Using my Duo Lash Glue, I'm going to apply some glue to these lashes. But the glue on here dries clear, so it'll be all good. And I'm not used to using a mirror like all the way down here, so pardon me. This is probably like the dookiest lash application ever. The right eye is always easier than the left because at least I'm like right handed so I can be like boop boop. So hopefully they look the same. They're looking pretty alright. Alright, now before I do the mascara on the bottom lashes, I'm just going to take any cream based, you know, like tan uh, liner and do my waterline in the light color because I really want it to show up. Now I will do my bottom lashes with this mascara. Alright, so now that the eyes are done, we're going to move on to the face. My lips are looking real small right now. So I'm going to be using the Coastal Sense Contour Palette. What the fuck is that brush? With my Ulta Contour Brush. Really dark brown color right here. In moderation, very lightly. Sorry, I'm filming in a whole new spot today, so it's kind of awkward. Um, I got some fabric to hang up in the back. I don't know if the black was a good choice, but I thought maybe it would look cool. So let me know if you like this, because my green screen shit is not working out real good. Like I like the way it looks, but it's so hard to get it perfect. Uh, so. All right, so next I'm gonna move on to the blush. I'm going to be using the Love and Beauty Ultimate Blush Palette. And I'm going to be using a fluffy flat top brush. And I'm going to take this kind of mauve pink color here. And just, uh, oh, too much. Fuck my life. <laughs> Whoops. Dust it lightly over my cheeks. It's really pigmented, so you can obviously mess it up. So next I'm going to go back in with my Physician's Formula Highlight with my Sephora Contour Precision Brush 79, which I use for highlight. Run that along the tops of my cheekbones. Down my nose. A little bit on my forehead. Cupid's bow. Chin. So lastly, we're going to be doing the lips. I am going to be using the NYX, or NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in San Paolo. Um, so we'll see if this works. I also have uh, these Fergie Wet n Wild lipstick in Ferguson Crest Cabernet, which I think I'm going to take with a lip brush and kind of ombre that in. So now I'm going to go in with my lip brush. I'm just going to tap a little bit of this, um, this really dark purple that actually matches the purple dress that I'm wearing. You better the dress that I'm wearing. Um, and then kind of ombre that in on the edges. Yeah. Alright, so that is the completed Valentine's Day look using the MAC Rose pigment, which I was excited to use. So if you guys like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to my channel, you can totally do that. Um, and for those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much. I love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you later. Bye.